As you learn Flash, you'll come across a number of different types of files, all associated with the Flash application. And in this lesson, I would like to take a couple of minutes and explain what the more common of these file types are. But before we get started, we need to check a setting in our operating system. If you look at our list of files here, you'll see that they all contain file extensions. That is a period or a full stop followed by three or four letters. You may or may not be able to see this on your computer. If you can't, and you're using Windows XP, go to the Tools menu in any browser window. That's Windows Explorer, not Internet Explorer. Choose Tools, Folder Options, and click the View tab. About a third of the way down the list, you'll see a setting that says Hide Extensions for Known File Types. If you select this, all of our file extensions are gone. And, of course, all the files are, by default, named with the same name, so it can get a bit confusing. So deselect that, and we can see all of our extensions. Keep in mind, though, that once you do this, anytime you rename a file, you'll have to be careful to keep the original file extension. So when you do rename a file, only change this part, and leave the dot and everything after it alone. Okay, that's for Windows XP. Let's have a look at how we can do this on Macintosh. This is Mac OS X Tiger, and I've got file extensions turned on at the moment. If you don't, simply go Finder, Preferences, go over to the Advanced area, and select Show All File Extensions. Again, the same thing applies when you rename a file. You have to make sure that the extension stays the same. Okay, back to Windows. When you create a new Flash document or project and save it in a particular place on your computer, in my case a folder called File Types, Flash will then save all of the files associated with that project or document in the same folder and use the same name. This is the default setting of Flash. You can change this, but I find it's easy enough just to let Flash save everything in the default fashion. So my file called ball.fla, save it in the file types folder, and then everything else will be in the same folder. Okay, now let's have a look at these file types and what they are. We just had a look at the FLA extension. This is a Flash document that opens in the Flash authoring program. It's not the animation. It's the document that we can edit using project file. You can create a Flash project, and that project can contain a number of different files. Keep in mind that as we work through this course, we're going to be using most of these file types. So there's no need to memorize these now. This is just a brief introduction so that you know what you're looking at when we deal with them later. The next in the list is the FLV. This is a Flash video file. If you're using Flash Professional 8, you will also have the use of the Flash video encoder. And this is one of the exported files from that. Next is a HTML file. This is a basic web page. And you can have Flash automatically generate HTML files that contain one of the next type of files, this one down at the bottom, which is SWF. This is the Flash movie itself, the animation. And you can either open the SWF file, or SWIF, as they're commonly called, directly in the Flash standalone player, or you can embed them into the HTML document and view it in a browser, such as Internet Explorer or Firefox. Now, we've skipped over this one here, SWD. As you can see, this is a Flash debug file. You may find yourself debugging your files if, say, something doesn't work, or you want to make sure that it does work. You can have Flash save the debug files for later use. And moving back up to near the top, you'll see that we have ballreport.txt. This is a report on the generated Swift file. Let's open it up and have a look.
We're going to be using these reports a bit later on in this course when we export and optimize our Flash movies. But if you have a quick look through it, you can see that it shows us a lot of information. How many frames are in the movie? How many bytes or kilobytes the movie is? And this will be important because we want to keep file size down. And where the file size is being generated. If we see that one of our scenes has a large amount of file size and the rest are pretty small, we can go back into that scene and find out why that's making the file so big. And the same thing applies to ActionScript. We're only using 80 bytes of ActionScript in this file. Anyway, we'll get back to this later on in the course. So those are all the basics. There are a few advanced file types, though, that we won't be covering as in-depth in this course. And these are Flash Action Script files, Flash Action Script communication files, and Flash JavaScript command files. These are more advanced files that allow scripts to be run remotely and allow Flash applications to communicate between themselves. And that's it for the basic overview of Flash file types.